some light on in here. Okay. Who is it? Huh? Oh. Mike. Hi, Joe. What are you doing here? Well, my grandma let me come over to get some news about Patty. Oh. And Avery said I could stay. Avery? She's the waitress here. Oh, you're right. You remember Bobby Spencer, don't you? I sure do. Sure, we go way back, don't we? To when you and Tommy and Jeremy were hurt in a bus accident. And you took care of us in the hospital. That's right. Hey, I, uh, I don't believe Avery would let you stay here all by yourself like this. Well, I guess I kind of beg her. I wanted to wait here till some of the Kellys got home. Oh. Are you mad at me, Joe? Of course not. You must be kind of sleepy, though, huh? Not now. Joe, what about Patty? Come here. Sit down for a second. Sure. You got a hug for old Joe? Sure. Mike, um... You're gonna have to be a brave and strong man right now. Oh, Joe. I'm afraid our patty didn't make it, Mike. He, uh... He had an infection and he couldn't fight it anymore, so, um... I'm sorry. Did he... Go to heaven? Yeah, he, uh... He told me he was just tired of fighting and that he was gonna go on up there and get himself a rest. Yeah. Ah, uh, Mike, have you had anything to eat today? Well, I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm sure he hasn't eaten. Well, I think I should fix you something. Is that okay, Joe? Of course. Father died thinking of you. Did he, Joe? Yeah. He, uh... He loved his last. You were his wild Irish rose. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Come on. Let's sit down. You're a sad and a weary gal. Oh, I'm angry. Don't waste your time on it. I've got enough anger for both of us. Don't shut me out now. I'll never do that. I'm trying to tell you you were right and I was wrong. There's a tough fight ahead of us, Joe, but I'm with you all the way. Let's don't talk about it now, huh? I got your message that you were going over to the Hardys. They told me to come on in while they parked the car. Thanks for coming in. Oh, man. He's a tough fighter right down to the end. Yeah? I guess he was just outweighed by this one, huh? Steve, uh, I don't know how to thank you enough. I wish we could have saved him. I do want to say thanks for all you did and all you said for my father, because I think a lot of the strength that he got to fight as long as he did, he got from you. I was going to fix Mike something to eat, but he told me he's not hungry. I'm not hungry. I wish we'd get Rose to eat something I doubt she's eaten all day. Bobby, I really think that Rose should get some rest now. Well, I think that would be a good idea for everybody. Why don't I stay and take care of her and you all go home and get some sleep? Oh, you sure? You put in so many hours. You want to stay and help? You sure? I'm sure. Well, I guess maybe we should split, huh? So thanks for being with Joe tonight, huh? 
Oh, thank you, Bobby, really. I know you've helped Joe through some very terrible times. Mike, I would imagine your grandmother's wondering about you about now. Well, she knows I'm here. Just the same, I think we'd better drive you home. Well, can I kiss Rose and Joe one more time? Sure you can. First, I kept expecting Patty to walk in at any minute. I know. I know. Now all I feel is death. Death all around. Oh, we'll be back so soon. Yeah, I'll be back. Rose with Bobby. Oh, good. I know she was worried about Joe. You shouldn't have waited up for us, darling. Yeah, why didn't you go to bed? No, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Uh, anyone like anything? Coffee? A sandwich? No, nothing for me. Thanks. I don't want anything either, Audrey. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we all feel about the same way Mike Phelan did. A little too upset to eat. And you saw Mike Phelan tonight? Yeah, yeah. Bobby uh, told me that he was there <clears throat> when they both arrived and the waitress let him stay. Oh, the poor boy. You heard all that sad news tonight then? Yeah, he was pretty shaken up too. Get up. Rose said some pretty strange things tonight. Yeah, I was quite surprised by her anger, that's for sure. Well, I think it's fairly understandable, considering the way Patty was stabbed. But she has such a fierce need for revenge. Yeah, the same kind of thing Joe was feeling. And Patty has had the same feeling, according to what Jeff's been telling me. Yeah, Patty uh, spoke to me a couple of days about it. He asked me to kind of keep an eye on Joe. Said he might get hurt if he tried to seek revenge. Revenge on whom? That was my question. Vic Gower, the man who knifed Patty, is dead. Well, I don't know what it is, but something strange is going on with that family, for sure. Well, I don't think we can figure it out tonight, so maybe we'd better all sleep on it, unless we might start to suspect something that isn't true. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You ready for bed? Uh, Audrey, I'll get that. <clears throat> oh, thank you. And thank you, too, for being so nice to Rose tonight. Oh. Yes, and we'll see you in the morning. Hmm? Yeah. And bright and early, too, because we want to... There to help her with the arrangements for Patty. Of course. Good night. Good night. Good night. Come here. Tired? Yes. And very, very sad. It's a rough night for everyone. Oh, such a terrible loss. Such a good and lovely man. Yeah. Sure wish there was more I could have done for Joe tonight. Well, he may need you more later on. The best thing you could do is just be there when he needs you, right? Well, I wanted to be at the hospital more, too. You only took a few hours off to see Heather. Annie, she's, uh... She's reverted back into a catatonic state. What? I don't understand. I thought Dr. Pirelli said she was getting better. She was. Pirelli has no logical explanation for what happened. That's very strange. Everything seems strange to me tonight. It's like we're all caught up in events that we're... we have no control over. Thank you for the drink, Joe. I think they needed this. That bottle, my father used to keep underneath the bar. Called it his private stock. One bottle. God bless him. Was Rose asleep when you went up to check on her? No, I could uh, hear her from outside the door. Was she crying? Yeah. I didn't know whether to go in or not. Perhaps not. She may need the time alone. Sometimes it's good to cry. Yeah, that's what I figured. I don't know what I could say to console her anyhow. I don't even know what I'm feeling right now myself. Joe, sometimes this is easier to say than to do. But you have to look ahead to the future now, not to the past. You know you've hit the nail right on the head? It's easier said than done. A 
I'm concerned about you. Don't be. Joe Kelly, there are some things that we have to face. Frank Smith was after you. And Patty Kelly got knifed that night on the waterfront. So what happens now? Is he going to come after you? What can we do to prevent that? We can use honey instead of vinegar. You better run that one by me again. I'm going to suppress my need for revenge and play dog in the manger. I'm going to call up Frank Smith and invite him to my father's memorial service. Oh, Joe. No, just listen to me for a second. I'll let him know that the widow and the son would like him to come as an expression of gratitude for all he's done for us. You think he'll buy it? He might if he thinks that I'm afraid after what happened to my father and that Rose wants me to stay out of trouble. I heard her say she's with you all the way now. Huh? But Frank Smith doesn't know that. Well, you might be able to pull it off. We've got to if our plan's going to work. And our plan is the only way I can think of to keep Luke and Laura alive. 